thought I just might show a uh, quick video of how to um, gas up your shocks. Now the most important thing you want to do is make sure your shocks are at full droop. They're not designed to be gassed up, compressed or at right height. So first of all jack your car up and, um, and uh, yeah you go from there. First of all we're going to take the valve cap off. Get that down there. Now, we've got like a Schroeder valve set up here where we fix this to the valve on the remote reservoir. Do that up nice and tight. So you get no leaks. Now, see this at the moment, this is wound all the way out, and what this does, this winds a pin in. And um, at the moment, with it wound all the way out, the valve will be closed on the on the remote reservoir, and when we wind this in it will open the valve just like putting a stick into the end of your valve and that will allow us to put the gas into the sh remote reservoir and fill the shock up now we've got that all the way out at the moment I'm going to come over here I'm going to turn the gas bottle on and I've got the I've got the um, got to set up for I'm going to put 200 psi of pressure into the shock now I'm going to wind, just wind this in, and as this winds in, you'll see it, usually it changes if the shocks aren't gassed up. These, are, these actually got gas in them. I've just been going around checking them all. Alright, so that's gassed. That's with this wound in. I'm going to wind that back out now. All the way out. I'll turn the bottle off. That will stay charged because now it's reading the pressure in the line from here to the our valve. We're going to crack our Schroeder valve off. And our pressure's back to zero. And that is how you gas your shocks. Thanks, guys.